Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use send an email option in Power Automate. The goal is to explore how that particular action card works. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to create an instant flow. I just need a button I can trigger. I'm going to call it send an email with option. Let's create. The next step here, because it's just a button, button triggered flow, let's go ahead and add the next step, which I'm going to add the send an email. Okay, so when I search here and put send an email, you will realize there are several action cards for sending an email. Either you're using the Power Automate action card, that's this one, or you are sending email with Office 365, and there's another option here, send email with options. So Office 365 Outlook has ability to send email with options and this is similar to start and wait for approval you will see how it works shortly we can use this send email with options as an alternative to start and wait for an approval and you're going to see how it works i'm going to click on it now all right let's customize who are we sending this email to of course the way it will display depends on the email service provider i'm going to show us how it works with Outlook. So first, let me just start with my Outlook account and my Microsoft account rather, or Latchers, which is being displayed using my uh, Outlook on desktop. Then you see the subject. What is the subject? So let me edit this and put by default, you're going to see your input is required. I'm just going to edit and put preferred. Let me just say preferred vacation period. Vacation time. Let's say preferred vacation type. Uh, time let's create three options and uh, let's put june just selecting the month you can change that one to month june let's put august and let's put here december vacation month so you can create a use case around this this can be anything it can actually be anything and when you click on this show advanced options you will have other options to customize you can want to set header text, you want to set selection text, you want to add body to the content of that email, you want to set the importance. If you even have attachment, you can add them here. Right here, this is where the main settings option lies. Use only HTML message. I'm going to uh, I'm I'm just going to put this as no. If you put if you, if you say yes, it will only render it as an HTML message. But right now, do you want to hide the HTML message? Yes. Okay, there's diff I'm going to show you when we test them now. When you hide this, then it's going to render it as an action card within Outlook. And you see how an action card works. So show HTML confirmation dialog, no. Let's just save it straight away and see how this works. Before that, let me hide the body. And let me just speak through. Speak through. This is um, yeah, a test for the send email with option action card in power automate let's just have this as the body i'm going to click on save now that it is saved let's test because the button flow so i just have to trigger it myself i'm going to run the flow right now okay done it's running let's see so you see, after the flow has been triggered, the send an email with options will not be completed. The email has been sent. It's going to wait till an action is taken on the different options presented in the email. Let's go back to my email and see what is that. Right now, I can see preferred vacation month from Olachas, and I can have it. I, I have it right here. When is my preferred vacation month? Is it June? Is it August? Is it December? I have to click on one. This is the body. So I'm going to select December. You see, this is displayed in an action card right here inside my email. And you see the difference shortly, not as an HTML object. If I click on December, you're going to right inside that email, it's going to respond to that, uh, send my response, which is done. When I go back to the flow, you see it has run successfully. 
let's edit or maybe let's even see what is there. It's going to collect that uh, response. That's the selected option, December. You can then take action and set condition. If it is more, if it is June, if it is August, if it is December, take certain actions. All right, let's go further and customize this. Let's change some of these settings. Let me turn this to no. Hide HTML message. Let's turn it to no and see what how it will be rendered. I'm going to click on test now. I'm going to save and test. Okay. I can see preferred vacation month. This is the next one. Right here, something is happening here. I can see my action card is here. Request for input is here. So I have two different options here with me. What you have at the lower part here is the HTML, the way to be rendered if it is HTML object. Here is the one for the action card. And because in my settings, I did not specify that I should use only HTML. This is why I'm seeing the two. When I turn on HTML, when I turn on HTML by not hiding it, so I have both of them here. All right. So I can use any of them to respond, but you see the difference shortly. Let me have responded using this. So let's me click on this HTML. And if I click on August, do you see that? Took me to a window and my response was recorded in a new browser window. Okay, let's go back and see what's happening here. So it's done successfully and it's going to capture August as well. August. August. No more action card, just selected option. It's August. Okay, let's edit and do something different. So this time around, use only HTML object. I'm going to say no. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Yes mean I'm enforcing it to use only HTML object, which also means that once I click on the option, it's going to open a new window. There are situations where you want that person to confirm his or her own option before you know, submitting. So I have to then come back here, hide HTML message, no. But of course, I've already enforced it here, so the action card will not display my mail. And right here, show HTML confirmation dialog, I'm going to click on yes. And I'm going to just save and test. Great. Let's see how it displays in the email. All right, I have it here. You see, we don't have the action card. We don't have it here. Unlike the way it was displayed here, we have action card, we have the HTML. This render has only HTML, but I have something else. Remember, you can always edit and customize the way it's been displayed. I'm going to click on June. And before I submit, I got something, confirm June. So you want them to be able to confirm that decision or cancel and go back. So I'm going to click on confirm June. That is when my you know, choice will be submitted. Okay. Right now it's done. So the question here is, okay, this sounds nice. I can use it to replace, you know, start and wait for approval. Yeah. But what are the other use cases? I have found an interesting use case where there are challenges within the organization or especially when you want to use Microsoft form to create a form and the end user are external, you know, customers, not internal. And these external customer, you need them to upload the file. How do you get them upload file? And how do you coordinate this in a programmatic way? This same action card plus the settings in one drive plus Microsoft form. That's where you'll be able to achieve that flexibility, even without the upload feature working for external guests in Microsoft forms. Thank you and see you in the next video.